Hey yo, what's going on, Bowman 1951? It's been a while since I've made a video. I've got many reasons for that. Specifically, I've been very busy in my personal life, my professional life. My child just turned one, so we had to plan, you know, a birthday party around that. And uh, professional life has just been kicking my butt. But I've also not been, I don't know, how do I say it, uh, as motivated to make a video. There's also a bunch of reasons there as to why. And I'm going to make a video in the future. Let's see if I have the balls to do it. It all revolves around that Mike Trout card where I had a eureka moment. Uh, that card is ready to go to grading. And it's probably going to be fairly controversial. So I haven't really gotten around to it just yet. I want to write a full script for it and just try to uh, lay out my thoughts as best as I can. But... A lot of this hobby has been changing since I got back in about three years ago, and I don't think it's all for the good. I'm not a big fan of a, a lot of new things in terms of what I'm seeing, and it's just kind of brought me down overall. Uh, once I got into it, you know, it's just I got into it for the love of collecting again and starting off with the 1951 Bowman set, of course, and it's really evolved into what you see out here. A lot of modern cards and I'm not focused on vintage at all anymore it's turned into a flipping game for me I'm not exactly overall happy with it I pull in four figures a month from selling all my cards from all the platforms that you can everything from Comsi to eBay and it's just I don't know it's not bringing me happiness so I may put out less videos I don't know I'm not running away from the channel or anything We've got that issue along with, uh, you know, I've got a Com C order out here, as you can see from the title of the video. But I put in an order, didn't rush the shipping back in June, and I think it's expected towards the end of September. So that one's got a long way to go. I like to do grading reveal videos. I've got four orders out right now, one sitting there since November that has not arrived. And, you know, I love that's good content to just share. I love the blind reveal videos the most because I'm surprised along with everybody else. And I, I am not getting them back. Uh, I can blame the pandemic for a bit. The volume of grading and how backed up the companies are, that's fine. But it's just there. I'm not getting shipment orders of cards other than, you know, if I got a card here or there from eBay, which there's a handful in here from eBay as well as Com C. And there's also the fact that. Two years ago or so, I renamed my channel to, you know, an adventure type videos uh, that I like to do where I go out to card shops, card shows. And with the COVID-19 hitting, I haven't been able to do that. So there's lack of motivation. I do get ideas here and there in my head that I'd love to execute on. Just haven't been motivated and due to the lack of time in my own life. That's just, I don't know. Things are changing very quickly in this hobby, and I know many of you see it. We've talked about it privately, so I guess I should just get into the cards here. Let's let's turn it positive. Uh, you know, I've seen those back pages talk about some of this, and uh, I know others have, like I said, privately with me, and I've seen it on Twitter, things of that nature. So without further ado, let's just talk about some recent pickups. All right, let's get into some minor pieces of basketball. I'm just going to start with um, Dwayne Wade stuff got a really hot on Com C very quickly. So I didn't own any. Uh, this might be a 2006 07 card here. Tops Chrome, anything Chrome from D Wade is going to arise quickly. Grab it if you haven't already. Vince Carter Rookie here. Whoops, that one is sticking. That should go in uh, the football pile. Vince Carter, rookie, uh, he is going to be headed into the Hall. First NBA player to ever play over four decades, 90s, the knots, the teens, and the 20s. So incredible career from my favorite college basketball team, North Carolina Tar Heels. And that's just uh, the tops base rookie card there. Finally, this was not a Com C purchase. This was pack pulled just last night. A Rui Mosaic pink here. Love the shine on that card. Got in the card saver one, and I'm going to be sending off to SGC in my very next order. Beautiful pull there from the hanger pack. I think just a couple cards come out of that final pink pack, and that was a pretty big hit. 
Put these basketball back out here while I move on to some baseball. Gosh, is the season even going to happen? Uh, I think it's still up in the air. I really do. Uh, a couple teams come down where half of them, the roster's out for two weeks because they all contracted the virus. And um, I don't know. Uh, I hear a lot of pleas to shut it all down. We will see what happens. And the same with football season coming up. All right, so this is a fairly big stack here. Uh, I wanted to pull off a couple rookie cards of Raphael Devers. I just don't have this one graded yet. I've got all his base tops cards and I uh, grabbed two of those just to make sure we can get one that's gradable there. Yohan Moncada. Uh, I've got more coming into this too, uh, the base tops, but I grabbed uh, the tops chrome here and the Bowman chrome. That has jumped significantly recently. Shout out to Pepino Man, one of his favorite cards the last couple of years. Dick Lovelady, everyone. And I had to grab the gold version. It's just, it's funny, right? <laughs> Older Trout, Mike Trout's uh, 2012 AL Rookie of the Year card. Don't have this one graded. And I think I've spent about $7 raw on this, which I thought was a real good deal. Those will continue to climb. A pink Michael Chavis. I've been quietly picking up as much Michael Chavis as I can because I think he's currently undervalued. He ended the season rather poorly last year, and he's almost an afterthought at this point. But if he can get some protection behind him in that Red Sox lineup, uh, I think he could have a fairly decent sophomore year. John Lester. This one was inspired by a video from Ray from Philly. They went through all the pitchers, I believe, who have more than 1,500 strikeouts and have a good chance of going to the hall. So this is his Bowman rookie card, the gold version. Uh, what is the year on this? 2006. This is a really thick card. I thought it, they actually put two in here at one point, but no, that was the, the card stock back then. So don't sleep on John Lester. He still has a good chance at the hall, especially if he finishes his career strong. And this guy is almost a no-brainer to me. Big Poppy. Headed to the hall within the next five years. Book it. And I'm loading up on golds from the top series. So I don't think this one here, um, not many of them are the base cards. But um, just grab them for under a dollar. I mean, they're still sitting out there. That was an all-star game card. Another all-star. This one, I think, is a base gold home run derby and just like i said just grabbed a bunch of them i think that's a duplicate behind there and then we've got the another base there and finally somebody who i think everybody is sleeping on right now this is a lot of five scott roland tops cards so com c tells me this is his base tops card now everybody hates the fact that there are four players on these but you just got to go with it and um, the other one is is the Bowman out there. There's a base version and a gold version, but this is the tops. So I got these very cheaply on eBay. Now, this one looks pretty off center left to right there. So that's not going to be a grading candidate, but I hope to get at least two out of, say, five of these graded because he's got a good chance at the hall probably within the next two years. I think that's all of those. And lastly, we're going to get a stack of football, mainly for my PC. We've got one graded card out there. It's going to be the save the best for last. Uh, the first couple here are going to be Julian Edelman. Prism. Prism, Prism. <laughs> Don't think that's the hollow. Don't think I had that one. Red, white, and blue. I just go through these. I really got to catalog better and figure out which parallels I do not own because I'm trying to complete many of these rainbows. There's a green. Oh, is this a shock? I can't even remember half of these. They all just look different. There's a uh, unparalleled. I think this might be numbered. Yes. There it is out of 199. This one here is a really big card. Next two, actually. Let's pull this to the side. So this is, I, I think it might have been first off the line. They call it uh, a jersey number, 11. And if you saw one of my other recent videos, I've got an 11 out of 11 from uh, Jules, which is, you know, extremely hard to get. And there's really only the one in the world. But this is numbered to 11. And it's really hard to see down there. This is going to be 2 out of 11. 
Gosh, let's see if we can focus there. Yeah, that's nice orange parallel. It is a Dunruss paper, but it's got some beautiful shine to it. Oops, now we're, of course, out of focus after I tried to zoom in on the numbering there. Jeez, come on. Here we go. All right. The biggest of the bunch for the Jewels, who was embroiled with Deshaun Jackson this week, if anybody saw that, where Deshaun posted some anti-Semitic uh, Hitler posts. I don't think he even knew they were attributed to Hitler. And then Julian Edelman and him have been having some conversations. Julian is Jewish. This is the E-Tops rookie, and I'm just moving it back and forth there due to the amazing shine. What's great about these is that they are numbered. This is to 649 here. Struggling once again. There we go. So 31 and a 649. I am digging these easy tops in general. Come on. Okay. So there are certainly some Tom Brady's out there that uh, are on the future list for pickups. And there are some key rookies out there. When they made these in the aughts into like 2011, might be the last year that they stopped. Many people never pulled them off site. You can no longer do that. So who knows how many are in circulation. Fun little card there. Up to the T Brady, the goat himself. Pulled off a bunch of chrome. This is an early, I think like an 05 Bowman chrome. This is another Bowman chrome. Tops chrome base. Paper base. So as you can see, I focused on either the chrome here or some key base cards. 2008 base tops. I was trying to get a run of chromes in PSA 10. It has proven really difficult. Everyone I send out comes back in eight or nine. So I don't know if I'm just gonna buy those outright, but I also wanna try now for the paper uh, base as well. Now this one, I think it was the most disappointing out of the whole order. If you can see in the upper right there, this corner, is pretty beat up. It's a 2002 Dunruss. I was trying to potentially send this off the grading, but I don't think it's gonna have it now. I always love his second year 2002 cards. Remember he had one in 2001. I don't even count that. The 2002 run is really where it started to pick up for him. This is an absolute beauty here. It's a parallel, I think out of 2015, but it is the camo and it's numbered. So tops base number cards are awesome and i'm going to try to grab more of those this is at a 399 have gotten pretty pricey for the most part when you find these this is only paper but um, again if you're a brady collector and you want something different to collect get as many of those serial numbers as you can this is uh, hopefully a really great grading candidate here this is the black version of his 2005 paper tops so it's not chrome but this is sharp uh, from what i can see always pulling for the 10 of course but likely end up uh, like a nine here love it um, really excited about that one that there was only one copy on com c uh, some refractors of ben roethlisberger he's probably a hall of fame lock as well and I've just been picking those up because they're on the cheap right now. Probably 75 cents or so. There's another one. Love this shot here. It's great. And uh, probably another grading candidate. This is a refractor. Base 2015. True Breeze. Another lock for the Hall of Fame. To end it, just because it's graded, it talked about Tom Brady cards. Base that are numbered. Don't sleep on those because they will be in collections for years and not many are going to come to market. And then this one was on sale. I decided to grab in a mint nine. This is the blue 2010 tops and it is numbered out of 349. So great pickup here. I don't have to pay for the grading. I don't have to wait nine months for it to come back or longer at this point. Who knows? I'm happy with that, especially considering uh, the serial number on it. Out of 349. Want to add more of these. This is really my first like tops parallel that I have in my collection. All right, that's going to about do it. Thanks as always for watching. If you like what you see here, always showing off cards, doing what I can. Maybe make a controversial video here and there. 
in the future, give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing uh, to our content here. We'll see you at the next video. Boom in 1951. Out.